Yo, what's going on guys? Today we'll be looking at the new Dark Opus weapons. The weapons are the new weapons that came with Fasan's Raid or Lucifer, whatever you want to call them. Now, one thing I will note is that these weapons are hard to obtain because they require a lot of bit of a lot of elements. Elements are what you get from breaking down summons, so it won't be that easy. Each weapon does cost 500. Do note that each weapon comes in either a primal or magna version. You have to pick the corresponding version to what your pool uses. So for example, my pool uses um, Zeus. So for I picked primal, which is Zeon. If you were a magna user, you will pick Horus, which is for magna. Now, one thing I will note is that currently at the moment, the Ogi effect on these weapons, they give Aurora Crest. I have no clue what that does at the moment, but I think it's something that you will have more info on later down the line. But I just want to throw that out there. Not to mention that depending on your pendulum on your weapon, you will have another effect. As you see here, one of my pendulums right now currently is boost to CA damage cap. Now with this boost to CA damage cap, this actually does not stack with the Ultima. So if you have an Ultima with the same effect, you're not going to gain another boost to your CA damage cap. Therefore, you would want to change that out with another weapon or another weapon skill rather. It could either be on the Dark Orpus weapon or on the Ultima, but they do not stack. So therefore it's best to try to get like either auto cap up and Ogi cap up or chain burst damage up and CA damage cap up. You want to have two different ones at all times. You can see here that's the third level. This level is actually very hard to get. This can only be obtained by clearing Dark Lucifer's raid on hard mode with one element it could be and and when you clear that rate in that element then you have to upgrade it which requires a gold bar as well i'll i can give you a little look at it in case you guys want to look at it so you can get an idea we can go to uncap it's pretty ridiculous I, it's not like impossible to do anything but it could definitely be a big gate because first you have to clear the raid and the raid currently at the moment has not been cleared. It's actually pretty hard. My current progress in the raid right now is 27% on just the wing. I haven't even gotten to the main body yet. So it's going to take a little while before we are able to clear it. So it definitely is hard. This is the item here that you get from clearing the raid. So it's a gate. It's a big gate. Uh, one thing I will mention though is that I'll show you how to trade for the weapons in a minute, but it does require a gold bar, which can be a big gate for people. If you aren't the lucky few, you know. So here, when you're trading for a weapon, you go to treasure trade, quest items, and you can go to weapons and click on dark orpus weapons. This is where you see all the weapons. As I mentioned, there's two different weapons, one for magna and one for primal. You will have to pick what weapons you currently would be using for your pool. For example, you can see that I have a couple weapons missing. Right now, I picked out the Agni version for fire. I picked out Magna for wind. I picked out Primal for light. And I'm going to pick out Primal again for dark. I would recommend picking the element that you main first. So. If you're like a dark main, you try you should probably go for dark first because they do give a considerable HP increase to your team. And it's very important if you're planning on taking on the new raid, you it's pretty much mandatory to put in your pool. So getting these weapons are definitely uh, a high priority. I would also recommend doing um, trains so that you can get the most amount of mats possible from doing the, uh, doing a raid. Now, as I mentioned with the whole uh, pendulum system, you have to trade for those as well. If you go to quest items and click on consumables, go to weapon skill items. They're also here as well. As I mentioned, 
they do not stack with Ultimas. So if you have Ultima in the same area, it will not stack. So you want to split them up. It has the same option. So one foe attack, then you have skill damage, then you have charge attack, charge attack damage rather, and then you have chain burst. So do keep them different. For example, I personally run Ogi cap and auto cap together on my light. Currently, I'm not doing that at the moment because my characters are kind of mixed up, but ideally that's what I would run. And down here, you can see the third level, as I mentioned, this is probably not going to be feasible for most people for like another year, um, to be honest. So maybe, maybe I'm overstating, but probably like a couple months though. I wouldn't worry too much about it, but they do come out with a bunch of stuff. You get boost to elemental allies attack and stamina. So I did this one is stamina. This one a midi, I, I think. Yeah. Uh, then you have multi attack boost. And this one, it boosts the damage over turns past. So there's a lot of things coming right now. Pretty insane, pretty insane. I'm probably gonna do a quick little raid right now. I know people wanna see what the weapon looks like in battle. Also, the light weapon and the dark weapon do have a really cool special uh, thing with Glory Bringer. That's why I'm bringing Glory Bringer. Just so you people can see it. Let's take on like Dark Angel Olivia or something. Something simple. Yes. So as I mentioned, I have been doing a raid, the high level raid. I did about six runs and we did get to 27 right now. I'm probably gonna have to readjust my pool when it comes to that. Cause currently I didn't have any garrison in there. If you didn't know, garrison boosted your defense, uh, depending on how low your health is. It's kind of like a midi, but instead of attack is defense. I think it's kind of needed for the raid due to the amount of raw damage that you take from it. It's kind of ridiculous. I, there was the one moment where I had a full HP character with 35k and he instant died from full health. Keep in mind he had no buffs on at the moment, but raw autos killed him from full health. So he took 35k from autos. So let's go with this. Now as I mentioned, this weapon does have a really cool thing with it. You can see right here that's phalanx each of the light and the dark weapons they come with phalanx on glory bringer and this is pretty much a way to have glory bringer play your spartan this is more needed for the raid i think i'll do a video on the raid the once i learn a little bit more about it but this is something that's very core and it's to be crucial for the new raid you see it here. It does apply to everybody in the raid. So it's pretty cool. Now, not everyone needs to play Spartan and it makes it also viable for other raids like you Baja high level. If you don't want to play Spartan, let's say like your main team, the Katana based team like Earth and you want to play with Ultima Katana. Now it's a lot more viable because you don't have to play uh, Spartan no more. So whenever you start doing more you Baja high levels, you'll see people definitely change out and run this instead of Spartan. May also be good for water Ultima players who want to play with the Ultima Katana with dog and also another option too. It's a lot of ways you can do it. Try to get the Ogi effect here. I'm not really paying too much attention to this boss because I mean the boss isn't like that hard. The only effect looks pretty cool to be honest. You see there we, we gained the Aurora Crest right now. I don't really know what it does. It doesn't really have any text on it. It seemed to be like a stacking mechanic but I didn't really see much honestly. Like if you if you look at it, it's like light magic is amplified, but I don't I don't know if that increases your damage. I'm a, like I would assume it increases your damage, but yeah, it's weird. It's weird. 
Oh, we missed Paralyze. Oh, well. I guess it's gonna take a little bit longer, I guess. Uh, we'll just go with this. I don't know why I'm trying to think so hard for like this raid. It doesn't really matter. The boss is gonna die. I, I would probably hit auto and it's just gonna die. It's like, it's really hard for it to do damage to me. Now, another thing I wanted to talk about was um, how do people feel about the new raids? Like, I think the jump between the high level, well, I get they both high level, right? But the difference between normal and hard is pretty drastic. So I think people are gonna go into hard underestimating it because of how easy the normal raid is. Especially when it comes to the fact that at the beginning of hard, you take up to 30, you take exactly 30K to all your party. So you can't even, you can't even join the raid if your whole team does not have 30K. Now, people are probably like over exaggerating how hard it is in terms of getting 30k i don't think 30k is that hard to get unless you're like win magna and you're a low rank but i think you need to be rank 170 at the very lowest in order to even do the raid so personally i would say you have to be at least one uh, 205 i think to do the raid because that gives you the maximum amount of health boost from emps right now but if anyone wanna see runs, I'll be doing them on my Twitch channel. I'll probably do a video dedicated to Lucifer's hard raid once I learn more though. It's, there's a lot of mechanics to it. Like first off, you need to bring multiple elements to lower his buffs he gain. You also need to bring different classes to lower the amount of damage, to, to increase your damage cap and to stop him from healing. So it's, de it's definitely different than any raid currently in the game right now. So which I really do enjoy because I haven't really had a hard raid in Grand Blue in a long time. But thank you guys for watching. I'll probably do a video with the other weapons as I make them. Currently, as I said, my light is the only one to finish right now. Well, at least as far as I can go. I'm going to finish up Wind next. I think I'm going to go Wind, Fire, Water. Uh, dark and then earth earth because I don't really care that much about earth right now but thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys next time if you have any questions leave them in the comments and I'll try to get back to them do know that I know Lily five star came out today I I just had I've been focusing purely on this raid because I kind of have my mind set on that more so than like the other small things so it's the problem of being wanting to do endgame stuff. You got to focus on it. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.